multiple different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Hi everyone, I'm Gordon. I'm Justin. And, and together, together we, we are, are Be Creative. Justin and I formed our company just under one year ago to bring you new and exciting products under the Be Creative brand. We have a fantastic relationship with Whole Chander and we love to share our ideas and creation with you, our viewers. So why not come be creative with us here, here at Whole Chander? Very good morning, good morning. If you're just tuning in, uh, nice to have your company. My name is Scott, I'm looking after you for the next hour with the lovely company of beautiful Jodie. Hello. Hello, babe. Uh, good I've morning. I've not seen you in young. I know, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Isn't it? It's nice to have him back. It's nice to be back, it's lovely. Uh, I'm your little surprise at the end of the birthday celebration. <laughs> Just because you've been having too much fun for the last 11 days, well, I went, don't worry, we'll bring Scott on for the out. end. No, I want to be part right. of it. That's right. Do you remember your 17th? Um, I remember my 18th. Do you? Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> I do, but no. no. There's, there's, a, there's a few birthdays you want to remember, some you try to remember, and yeah. some you really can't remember. I remember passing my driving test at 17. That's good. But apart from that, no, I can't remember. First time pass? Yes, absolutely. Oh, I see. Yeah. We're part of a club then, that's all right. Yeah, that's great. It's good. Well, it's, it's lovely to be with you again. It's always a yeah. pleasure to be with you. And I know that you've been a massive part of this sort of the yes. birthday celebration, uh, 11 days through, and I hope you've all enjoyed I'm sure you have as well. <laughs> she knows it's the last day today, so she's gonna, you're going to have a lot of fun with these next few hours. Um, but I, this looks great, and everything that's part of the celebration is, and there's so many different variables in here with regards to what it could mean to people. This is a kit, it's and this. you were saying only one, it's, it's not going to get any larger as a kit goes. This is it, isn't this it? This really? is the largest die that we can produce, okay? You won't fit it in your machine otherwise. <laughs> in here, you have got 30, no, yes, 32 dies, yeah? 32. Absolutely amazing. Now, they're all broken down into different mats, layers, detail, outside edges, and all the embellishments as well. Now, if you have not put your toe in the memory book market yet, this is a standalone item on its own. Wow. But if you have got that book and you've got the passion like I have for memory books, these will work in conjunction with your memory books as well. So let's have a look what okay. we actually get in that collection and then we'll have a look at some of the samples. Okay, so what you're getting is one corker of a die. Mm. Look at the size of that beast. It literally fills your A4 plate. So that is going to give you your main design work. You've then got all your mats, your layers, your details in there as well. You've got wording dies, you've got little ones here. Beautiful typeface. Yeah, really nice. They nice, work isn't it? absolutely amazing. For me, that is the best die of the whole lot. I love it. Simplicity. Yeah, the little at pad kind of style. That yeah. is really cute, isn't and it? If you actually? just glue down that edge there and put multiples on, you can actually tear them off like notepaper Oh, that's as brilliant. Well. Oh, great. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I like that. But you can see in there all the different mats, layers, outside edges and everything else. You've got some that have got little pimples in there, some that are scalloped, some that are detailed. But using them on their own, they will then work with like, your memory book two and your memory book one for your mats, your layers, your tags and everything else. So when using this on its own, what can you actually do? You're able to make beautiful little books like these ones here. Cute, really so, cute. So, nice these. little ribbon, or maybe you've got a magnet on, on there, but when you open them up, they are little books in oh. their own right. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so they are amazing. Little note paper at the top that. there. But aren't they That's beautiful? Such a lovely so you idea. can decorate them front and back. So that one there is as the die is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yep. But yep. then you can start to change them as well. So, for instance, this one here, we've got the little tabs at the top. 
and that one we've put an extra layer on so you've got an extra pad at the bottom there. Maybe you want to make double aspects. Can you see I where see, we're going? Yeah, I'm, I'm following it on here as well. Yeah. So this one here is actually a double aspect going across. So all these have got acetate in, so you can put acetates in. And then these end ones will lift up and flop down. Oh, that's brilliant. So you can change okay. the composition of the die by adding and taking away different flaps into different regions. Right, right. And that's simple to do. I think oh, once, once you, once so you get easy. the principle in there, place. And once you've got the book, you're going to be making loads because <laughs> then once you have played with this, you can then start to do, for example, books within books. So this one here is memory book two, okay. which we've also got on the show. But when we open this up, let's get to the next page. You can see that we've actually got the components in there as tags. Oh, I see. So we've now got the tag in there. We've got a whole book That's within brilliant. a book, yeah? So if I put that one down and open this one up, oops, I've just lost my tag, but you can see that this is a book within a book. That's brilliant. So you've got all the different ones in there. That's so you can really start to play and, you know, get to... For me, I get lost when I'm making memory books. The world can do what it wants to do. <laughs> Just leave me alone in my office, playing with my bits of paper, and I absolutely adore it. I really, really do. They're beautiful. I love this. Well, I, I get the pressure, Sam. We, I know that how popular this has proven to be and people wouldn't enjoy the celebration. Yeah. We are approaching 80, 8-0, 80 percent of the stock on this now approaching already been allocated regarding this one. 617458. It's a brilliant saviour on this one as well on the weekend. Well, seven pounds savings, so it's just 32.99. But I think for the options that you've yeah. got there and so many ways you can work it, mm. what a brilliant piece. I love that. So um, we've got that. Now if people haven't got the memory book, yes. talk to us about this, this then because this, this is, is a great. Memory book two. Right. We do have another memory book on the show, so if you're wanting the other one, shop ahead. But this here is what I would class as a traditional book shape. So you've got the rectangular design in here. Now you get every die in there to make five different size books right. with all their pages and all their mat and layers. You also get the spine in there to be able to create your professional book. So when you make your spine up, your spine is going to look like that. And that's what you're going to adhere your pages to, to give you that professional finish. But what sizes of books can you do? So these are your five different sizes. Ooh. So going all the way down, these will make your book covers, these will make your internal pages as well. You've also got all the mat and layers. Because if you've never made a memory book before, you make them slightly different to a card. So with a card, you mat and layer, don't you? Then you put your embellishments on. With a memory book, you tend to do all your, your work and everything else on your mat and layer okay. before you stick it oh, in really? the book. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because then you're hiding your flaps and your mechanisms uh, right. behind your mat and layers yeah oh, yeah but okay. when you put the mat and layers together or oh, let's just flip that round oh, or is upside down there we go when you put your mat and layers together you can see there that they are absolutely perfection but of course if you wanted to these could just be mat and layers on your cards you don't have I to see. use them as part of the book right they will give you perfect mat and, layers as well. like that. and and is this something for people that might look at that and say that looks very complicated because there's so much work in there, there but I suppose it's component is. by component. It is. Now if you go on to social media and go on to Facebook, go on to Making Memories with Joe Jody, there's two and a half thousand people of you on there making these books and you're all sharing ideas. Oh, great. So if you're if you're lost, get yourself on on there and somebody will be there to help you. At the top Click on the announcements. There's loads of tutorial videos in the, in there for you to be able to follow as well. So you're not on your own. There's always somebody there to hold your hand. Great, uh, because sometimes you might think, "Oh, it looks great," yeah. but, how, but yeah, give it give yeah. it a go, and, and the support is there for you as well. I love that. Um, now, for uh, just to let you know again, we're also approaching 80, 80 percent again of these that we're looking at uh, in, in regarding this. So. Proving very, very popular indeed. That, but these are what great ideas. Oh, 
I, as I say, I do get lost when I make these. These are absolutely amazing. If you've got memories you want to keep, how many of you have got those boxes of photos in the loft? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? And you don't know who that auntie is, who that uncle is, how old that, that person was on that photo. I believe that, you know, these could be something... Get down to the ground with the grandparents, take the photographs, ask them to just put a post-it note on the back right. of who that person is, how old they were, where it was set, yeah. and then start to make memory books, and then you've got a gift for them for Christmas. That's a lovely idea. What a and great idea. And they will sit for hours reminiscing about how Joe Bloggs was set on that Triumph whatever yeah. <laughs> in 1947. Yeah. Yeah. All those memories then can start to flood but, up. But what a lovely way to have that actually out yeah. of display, not put away in, in a box somewhere and things like that, which is um, fantastic. Lovely saving on this one as well. Don't forget, special price you're looking at here is £8 saving. So it's just £24.98. pence. Six seven six seven one eight is your item code there if you're looking for that. Everything that you need, which is great. Now, also, don't forget, as part of the birthday celebrations, you're also entitled to get a free gift. Uh, we love it. So it's a birthday for everybody. Uh, you make one purchase on any any product that you see within the show, of course, then you will get that. I don't know what it is, we don't know what it is, but they will get something <laughs> so you can do. That's what birthday presents are all about, isn't it? It is, so I don't know what they are, so it's all, it's all part of it. Um, we've also, if you mention the, and you quote Tonic 17 as well, you either put that into the, uh, uh, the little box that's on the website or when you speak to the call centre operative as well, you're also going to get a Freedom membership for one whole month as well. And if you are already a Freedom member thinking, hang on, oh, I've already got mine as well, then you will also get another free gift up to the total price of course you would be paying for your membership which is six pounds and 97 pence so reasons not only because it's great products as well and it's lovely Jody, for mm -hmm. your demonstration as well so many reasons to get involved either by phone of course get yourself on the web or the w.hachanda.com and then you can join in there and if you are already a freedom member you'll see lots of blue banners on there as well so you can just add those to your basket shop ahead for all these but as you can see we are 80 percent already on this one but some really good savings look not almost a 20 pound saving there as a freedom member uh, which is absolutely brilliant so that's just one of the offers that are on there for you hachanda.com get yourself involved there because it is the final day of the celebrations uh, so it's what are the now countdown the <laughs> until the 18th which we can all remember um right what are we so gonna do then? we've already cut out our main die now let me show you the size of this beast because it is huge so this is your biggest die and it's the biggest die that we can manufacture and you can see why yeah, yeah. you're right up against it aren't it you there it fills that whole plate yeah okay now what we've done is we've already cut that out now your die is going to give you all your score lines and all you're going to do is crease all those beautiful score lines you've got a double score line there so give that a crease as well I like it so and then you have got the start of your mini book now what we're going to do is we're going to take some elements away okay so I don't want that middle one so I'm literally going to chop that one off okay. and I don't want the middle one at the bottom so we're going to chop that one away as well so now we've got something that's going to fold up in a different way okay okay so these bits here chuck them in a box yeah and all the bits that you cut off keep them all all together and then eventually you've got different matching layers to be able to add different oh, ones lovely. to different yeah, yeah? yeah great so what we're going to do is first of all we're going to cut ourselves a couple of panels now on here i have my gold i also have my cream on the top and we're going to cut two at once because it's a base core shape that is absolutely fine right here i think we've had an email come to really while well, winston is preparing claire sends an email good morning claire she's okay. she's already bought what sorry she's bought oh she's already a memory book oh and legacy keeper oh great idea she's going to use oh. it for the cubs as well for when they go away on their camp and put everything what a great idea that'd be lovely that's lot and i bet there'll be lots of bits and pieces to go in that one i hope it goes down brilliantly and there but thank you for letting us know what a great great yeah. idea please keep your emails like claire go through to us here of course studio at hachanda.com and that's a great thing they're so universal they are. whatever it means to anybody they are this Abs works, absolutely it? so let's cut another one out as well claire when you've when you've made that sweetheart can you 
make sure that you send me a picture mm. yeah because i'm i'm literally putting all the pictures into that group into making memories with jody so there'll be loads of different inspiration for, for people so if you're not a member go in and put it in for that'd me. be great be we can all have a look as well then thank you so we have now got our panels so we've got the craft card we've got the cream We've got the gold, okay? Now we've got our beautiful detailed die here. Let me just get that bit out. It's not a roo, it's a uh, because there's uh, half of uh, one, yeah? Uh, so this here, we're going to cut into the cream now. So let's just get rid of those pieces. And I'm just going to tape that down. And I have to say, the words in here are lovely. You've got you, me, you've got love, you've also got some deboss in there as well. Mm -hmm. And it looks beautiful when you start to paper piece this. So let's run that through. We're going to take that through here. Oh, yeah. So look at all those words. Oh, in lovely. There. You've even got the deboss words on there as well. So that is going to stick onto my gold. So you're going to Look get that, that gold shining through. That's lovely, okay. Bob. That, that's really lovely, that. We've had an email, another one come through from Kim. Hello, Hi, Kim. Kim. Good morning to you. Uh, Kim was saying that she's, she's got this, um, but, but actually for the Legacy Keeper, but she's saying that until she upgrades, she can't get the bigger die through right. at the moment but just even for those other components at the moment I, great to get those I am totally with, them. with you Kim there's so many different bits in here that, 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 that you can use I mean let's face it just that with a mat and layer yeah if you were to buy those on your own as a mat and layer you'd be paying what four or five pound yeah just for that one yeah, yeah, yeah so to have all those others in there as well but I'm sure it won't be long before you upgrade to get yourself a bigger <laughs> oh. die cutting machine so you can use it yeah. and it's full as well. Um, but A4 plate is what you're it needing, is. yeah. So that. we've now stuck that one down, okay? But I want to have the little craft word letters in, in there. So we're going to cut this one out. Now, rather than me have cut that into a piece of cardstock and then thrown the waste away, yeah. I'm going to cut it into the tag and then that tag is going to go in my collection for next time oh, okay. because I'm only going to use letters. Right, okay, right. Yeah. So rather than just just cutting the bit that you need, this now, the waste is going to be saved for another one. See, it's yeah. thinking ahead. This is what you do. See, this is what you do. Uh, but just let you know, by the way, uh, Lottie, our producer, said that the details at the bottom of your screen for the Keepsack uh, book, uh, you're there, is actually now 80%. 80% uh, of the stock of that. We've actually gone over 80% of the stock of that one. That's 676718 for the book. So um, you never know. This could well be the last hour for it. So grab it while you can on the last day that we've got for you. So we can now put these little letters back in because they all have come out of there, so they're all going to go back in. Oops, stuck to my finger. How, uh, how lovely is that? Yeah. So literally placing those back in. Come on, where's the other bit there? There we go. <laughs> Hiding it, it, it was. So you just take the wire. Now these could be just, you know, placed on your cards just as words. You don't have yes. to go back into the tag. No, no, no. Yeah, well, you so said there's so many segments to this, what, there is. what you get, and then how you use it again with imagination, everything just yeah. chucks in. You, you, That's you the get wrong a size, lot. Let's get the right size one. So, you, me, so just need the E. Oh, I see, yeah. Just do that. We've had another email come through as well. You're sticking that last one in at Jody as well. Another Claire. Hello. Lots of Claire's watching today. Hello, good morning, Claire. Oh, now, Claire is asking, nice simple question, start, what does she need to start making a book? Right, so first of all, you need the main book die, so give, oh, give me a minute. Right. So if you okay. are, have not got them, you need to have these two, okay? So that's twenty four ninety eight to get you started. And that is going to make your base book. It's going to give you your spine and all your pages as well. And then it's up to you how you decorate. Okay, there's loads of other things that you can decorate it with that that's your bare minimum to be able to make your book. 
Okay, right. nice. and then it's just decorating however you want. Lovely. There we go. Lovely. Great question. I'm sure there's lots of people there that also benefit from that as well. But yeah, because you might think there's so many components, but yeah, that's all you'll need for that one. So thank you very much indeed. Great question to come through. Uh, again, approaching 80% on those as well. Oh, it's not gone. Yeah, nearly limited actually. She's gone over 80% on that now. So please take advantage while you can for those ones to grab that as well. I'll just pop that back <coughs> over there. There we are. Right. So we've got our book. It's all lay laid out. Now, what I tend to work on is three widths of that Legacy Keeper with my ribbon, okay? And then that gives you plenty of space to be able to tie your bows at, at the end. Right. So if you work literally on three times the width, okay. then you're all set. Now, we've got some little circles here, and we're just putting the ribbon in those circles. Let me get my glue gun. And then we're just adding one over the top. And that is going to give you your nice end to your ribbon. Because don't forget, these are going to be tied, untied, tied, yeah, un of course. untied. And even if you've put a chamfer on that ribbon, the chances what's that? are... What's, sh what's that? When you cut it... Oh, an I see angle, the angles. Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. You will end up with it frayed. But by putting the little bits on the end, right. that's going to stop that just from keeps happening. Just it all together. Yeah. Did you cut them out from this as well, the circles? These, this is just a little circle die that's right. come out of other collections. Most most people have got circle dies. So now you have got your circles on the ends of those, okay? And this is going to come across the centre of here. So let's just add a little bit of glue. doesn't have to be precise. But just make sure that that is stuck in the middle. Right, okay. Okay? Yep. And then we can start to decorate. So we have got the beautiful ones. We've cut them out. They've got the word menu on the top. We've also got the patterns as well. So let's start with the pattern. We're going to go pattern on there. We're going to go pattern on there. We're going to put words on that one there. We're going to go plain mm -hmm. at the bottom. We're going to go pattern at the top and pattern at the top there. Okay? Wow. So let's stick all these babies down. It's amazing how, just by even resting them on the top there, you see it all coming together in, in that respect as well. But it does look so comic But when you just place them on there, it's... That, there's not a lot... I know that, you know, you've cut them out beforehand and there, but there's quite simple to get such a great effect. It is so simple. It really is. But like I said, when I'm... Right, so when I'm making cards, I find that I, I mess about thinking, oh, what's the composition? Do I need that there or do I need that there? Yeah. With this, it's just total mellow. <laughs> yeah, mellow yellow. It's, I just, this is playing, you know? This is building up, using everything that I've got, bits and bobs and everything else. Yeah. You know? It's just, I'm mellow when I do this. I can feel my blood pressure reduce. Ah, oh, you see? <laughs> That's because you're finishing after 11 days. Oh, right? That's going to be dear as well. me. That's a nice Could I just ask, this is a, a, um, as like a project of this piece. Have they been around for quite some time or is this a relatively new project? Right, sort of so Memory Book 1 was launched when we first came to Hachanda, so that was a, a year ago. Right. And when we launched that, that sold out in 15 minutes. We wow. then launched Memory Book 2 about, ooh, about five months ago that sold out in 20 minutes wow yeah wow. and they're now up for an international craft award that's fantastic so, that really is fantastic if you like your memory books please go on online and give them a vote because i would be absolutely ecstatic if we could get the award wow. for, for, for these because the I love them so much. Yeah. I'm passionate about them. And so lovely to be uh, recognised even up for an award yeah. in that respect. Uh, so that's absolutely brilliant, that. That is lovely. So, yeah, please, yeah, do vote for those and, uh, and let them know. Uh, we are, if we, by the way, on the phone, uh, we're looking at two minutes queues at the moment. So we apologise for that. We're doing our very best to get to your call. Obviously, it's very important to us. Uh, but please uh, check out of your basket as well. The Legacy Keeper. Um, we are now approaching 85% in total on that one as well. And the bookmaker as well, nearly limited on our bookmaker, uh, which is your absolute basics you'll need to start from. Uh, and that's now approaching towards limited. So just want to let you know, looks like they could be gone in this hour, but uh, it is the final day of the birthday celebration, so do we get that while they're still there at the moment? We'll give an update. Sorry, Joe. So now we're going on to the inside of the book. So we've got the detailed ones at the top here. Now this is going to be a recipe book 
maybe it can be whatever you want okay so literally we have used those beautiful typeface so we've got menu we've got recipe and these are all in your collection okay so recipe we're going to have a plain one in the middle but it's got the little addition at the bottom that we are going to place little tags into. Oh, I see. Okay. So that is a form of pocket with those little tags. Right. So that's going to go into the centre like that. And to make those pockets, what you are going to use, let's move all these little bits, there's this little die in the collection, this one here, will cut out your outside edge. And then you put your detail die in. And we've put the brown behind. And then you're just going to put some little either okay. glue or high tack on the back there. Now, one of the ladies on social, she says, how does Jody get the red liner tape off so, so well? A good thumbnail. I'm just noticing that there, you a see. A good thumbnail, sweetheart. That's how I get it off so well. <laughs> and the thumbnail has cracked halfway across, but I refuse to take oh. it off because I've got a lot of tape to take off. <laughs> so tomorrow I will be chopping it off, but hey, we are keeping it for the sake of the show. Yes, see, uh, that's that's what Joan. That's what she, she. That's what it means to get it to, to sacrifice. Absolutely, sacrifice for that. Uh, it's a three-minute queue on the phone at the moment. It's proving really, really busy show. Um, so again, if you are thinking about uh, any of the stock. Uh, the products apart from the birthday celebration and please 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 don't hang around for that one we'll be coming to your call as quickly as we possibly can so little tags in there so imagine this being a um, you could actually have the menu there and you could have notes there if you placed one of those on the place setting at your wedding oh, yeah. you could actually have have the menu printed in in there you could get your guests to write down what they thought of it there and then all these then would go into your what a lovely your idea. memory book collection because it all folds up your ribbon would come across the front and they could add different words in there that they associate with you oh. about the friendship how you met how the wedding is and everything else but they could be little memory books for you to look what at a great in a later idea year. yeah lovely idea that that is brilliant well thank you so much for sharing that one as well how many have you made so far in the last few days then we're doing a lot. Sort of <laughs> <laughs> Lots of memories that go in there as well, which is absolutely great. Um, we've also got a picture that's come through from Kim. Uh, there we are. She's oh. working at the moment on a memory book at the moment as well, and she can't wait to get the Legacy Keeper now as well to go with that and uh, to crack on. Kim, thank you very much Amazing. indeed for, uh, for sending that one code through. Do keep your pictures coming through. Um, certainly if you've received anything recently and you, and you started work on that, do get in touch with us. Uh, we are uh, approaching limited stock uh, very, very often the book die itself, so um, do date take advantage but your weekend well your legacy keeper is just i think is brilliant today is your final day all your specials will be gone today all the freebies we've got all your gift ideas we've got uh you know your your, your supply as well for your months free worth to be as a um a freedom member as well or the equivalent of course if you are already there all those end today so make make sure maybe you've been away working and maybe in a way on holiday uh, and today's your first day to sit down but you've caught the last day of the birthday celebration uh, there is a four and a half minute Q on the phone line at the moment. Just want to give you a heads up on that one. Uh, but again, it is very, very busy. But you can see why. And I think for me, uh, there's a lot about this. But one of the main things is it is the largest. You know, with 32 dies that you're getting here, it is the largest. It's right up the edge. So you're going to need everything you're going to get within that A4 uh, die set to actually work with this as well. So do get them. But then, as we heard already from earlier on, that even if you haven't got the larger sort of die cutting machine, you can still use the individual uh, moments of this. Even before you sort of upgrade and get yourself a larger one but everything in here is so personable you get so many great initiations and designs that you can add you can create with this one really make it unique and individual but a great way as was talked about is actually bringing out all those little photographs you've had all those memories etc we've heard about people with the i think it was a cubs or browns or scouts one of the two as well you know the cubs i think it was um you know birthday celebrations weddings anniversaries holidays uh just those bringing those memories and putting them in such a way that everything 
think you're happy for it to be out on display, happy to be out on display that you can look at. And with so many lovely ideas, you can see acetate being used in here as well and all the sort of loveliness that can go with this. And, the, and as you, if you missed uh, from uh, Jerry talking about this at the beginning as well, you know, you can extend these, you can change the shape, change your design that you're working with as well um, to make sure you cover it and make you as unique and as individual as you wanted to as well. Make these, you know, I'm sure, something like this, I think, in a gift shop. If you were selling these, uh, I'm sure that they would go for, uh, um, you know, as a lovely photo album, they would uh, go for a pretty, pretty penny. But you're getting a really lovely, lovely amount. All the parts, all the segments, is it worth just showing very quickly one more time on this? Um, as you can see everything, all the components that do go with this. And it's a big, big die. Like I say, it has to be an A4 uh, for your plates that you'll need. I'll just drop that down so that uh, you can see this nice and clearly. Uh, but there you are. There's, there's your, your main folders to go with that. All your panels that will go with this to create the whole of your folder. There's everything that's been used there as well by Jody with your recipe, menu notes, etc., etc. Your to-do list you might want to put. The goals, we like those nowadays, don't we, sometimes? You know, goals that we're going to be setting and working with. Um, Jody's favourite here, creating your little tear-off pad. Once you lay that up as well, so you've got everything you need for those, and I think it really is great. All your different sides, uh, some of these you've got little dots on, polka dots on there, the little edging, etc. But some really fine details. 32 pieces in total, you're looking at this die set. There's an awful lot that goes into it, but you're going to get an awful lot. And don't forget, there's also support that Jody mentioned. If you're to find them on social there, there's over 2,000 odd um, people that are part of that with the memory so if you want some help or support in going through get yourself on that as well and there's people that can help you point to and inspire you as well so that's your weekend well 617-458 is your item code there's a seven pound saving as well we love a saving as well as if you do make a purchase of course in this hour don't forget you're also going to get your free gift that'll be on its way to you as well and if you quote tonic 17 don't forget you're also going to get a freedom membership for one month and if if you are already a Freedom member, don't worry, we will give you the equivalent of um, £6.97 worth of an extra little gift as well, so everybody can join in with that one. Uh, £32.99, but over 80% uh, of the stock, and now it's actually 85% uh, of the stock already been allocated, and a four and a half minute queue on the phone line. If it's in your um, basket, please make sure you check it out and get it while the stock is there. Now, the book uh, is now limited stock. It's just, just $24.98. And everything you need to create this is there. Uh, so that's up to a five-minute queue, just to let you know as well. A lot of people want to take advantage of this last day of the uh, the actual the birthday itself. Um, but uh, just to show, I just think this is a work of art. And the reason why I asked the question about, you know, would is this something okay for for a beginner to be involved in the start? Because it looks, look at that, it looks awesome you just want to open up and imagine every page you turn there's another flap to lift up there's something else to read in there another little secret area for example great moments and memories and that would be just an ultimate ultimate gift to receive and i'm sure a lot of pride but if you've made something like this to hand to somebody, you just know that that's going to be centre of attention. Number one and number two, when they both were coming out, and number two was about five months ago, Jodie was saying, it had sold out within 20 minutes. Um, so lots, a lot, a lot of work that goes into these, you know, really personalised them, style, colour, uh, images that you're going to be working with, you know, you're getting something very, very special, really, really powerful. And all of this, of course, as we know, is going to be coming from the two of the dies that you're looking at here. Everything you need, and of course, here, it gives you the idea for the spine that you'll be using to make that as well. Really nice, strong construction that brings all this together, and that is going to create there for you, so you can you'll see how that would work as well. So a great saving here again of £8 on your special price. It is limited stock for everything you need for this and for this as well. 676718, just £24.98. I'm sure you don't need any inspiration, but if you do need any inspiration, have a little look at this. We'll wait for our phone lines to calm down a bit as well. Have a look at this. <laughs>
Uh, there's a lot of people joining in. I think everyone else is feeling it's their 17th birthday, yeah. possibly. That's what it is. But uh, thank you again for your patience if you are on the phone line there. We will be with you as quickly as we possibly can be. But it's well worth the wait because what you're getting is phenomenal. Mm. And you get your free gift as well. And your membership if you're quoting Tonic 17. Yeah. So lots of reasons to stay tuned with us. Um, people uh, yeah, are asking for measurements. Yeah, so, great. two and a half inch wide by four and a half inch long is your little books. Two and a half okay. inch? Yeah. Wide, I Or guess. In, in new school, <laughs> in my language, that. 12 centimetres by oh, about six. Yeah. Okay. I can confirm. I can confirm. Confirm. Thank you for demystifying this because they do look so amazing when they're put together. But just to show us how you're they, doing is lovely. Really it's, are it's, it's great. So many different ways of using these. Okay. What now, are we doing next? When we are using them, just make sure that you tape it at the top and the bottom. I'm just going to say hello to Matt. Hi, baby. Hi, <laughs> He's taking a right. picture. Bless him. Taking it. Is he taking one of us? <laughs> there we are. <laughs> As if you've got a ball spot. Oh, it. dear, bless him. So <laughs> Good to see you, Matt. See you in a minute, mate. It's lovely, too. <laughs> it's coming up for you very, very soon, Matt. So you'll be with so you. So make sure you tape it top and bottom, OK? Because because it is so big, you don't want it to flap out and get caught in your machine. So if you tape it at the top and the opposite side, then there's no way... Oh, no wiggle from that. Yeah, there's no wiggle room, OK? So... You can see how very little you've got left. That's, that's it. it. I think that's yeah. going to be that's a, the, the minimum amount of waste on anything we've seen. Absolutely. <laughs> so, what we're going to do before we go any further is we're going to take little bits off of this. So, looking at that there, you have got this die here. Now, this die has only got a curved cut at the bottom. The rest of it doesn't cut. Okay, so we're going to bring that down the bottom here, and I'm just going to centralise it so it's level on both sides, mm -hmm. so that then I know it's square. Right. And I'm going to run that through. So that's going to give me a nice curve on the bottom of one of them. Now, if you do that into your mat and layer, it's going to give you little pockets in your mat and layer to slide your cards in as well. Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. So let's take that away just slide that out so you can see now how that's giving you a curve mm. on the bottom now this one here this is going to come up and I want this to be a pocket okay so I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to put that die parallel to the crease line oh uh, right okay like that and I'm going to tape that one down so I'm now going to run that one through. So same tool, giving us two completely different options yes. from that one. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So run that all the way through. So then, when we take that away, it's going to have taken that off. Yep. Save that, because that. that can be another pocket for another one. But if I turn this back, when that comes up, that is going to be a pocket in its own right. Right. This one is going to have the lovely curvature on the bottom. We're going to take this one now. So remember as pile of goodies, mm -hmm. this is one that we cut off another one. It's ah, now going to stick on the top. Right. And this is what I'm saying about keeping your bits and pieces. Right. Because then you can add things in different ways. So this is going to go onto the top of there. So let's just add adhesive into there. So I'm going to keep the same colour with the same colour okay. because this is craft card. So craft card is different colours. Right. Okay. So that is going to go onto the top of there now. So just make sure that your score line is still visible. So now we've got flaps in other directions and we're going to take that one off. So does that now look like the original? <laughs> it doesn't, does it? You're starting to build yeah. in different ways. So let's add some panels. So we've got a very generic panel here. So that is going to come into here. So this now can be very masculine in design. We're going to go moustache man inside there. So let's put Mr. Moustache Man 
just so everyone know as well with regards to the legacy um, pack that we've got here um, that we're approaching limited stock now also on that so I just wanted to let you know um, as well bookmaker by the way is now at 95 wow. percent as well so it's going to be gone so make sure you get yours before it does go sorry Joe, I just wanted to no, let people update that's so, fine. Out. so now we're just going to add no we're not because it's all sticky oh. look at these scissors look watch <laughs> <laughs> I've cut that much. There you go. Oh, knickers. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's do it like this. Honestly. You tried? I tried. So yeah. let's put some little adhesive in there and we're going to fold that one over. Okay. Right. So you're only sticking at either end, you're not sticking the arc. Okay. Okay. And in your collection, these are the arc dies. And you can see now how that fits perfectly mm. into that circumference there. And actually, this is something that can, it doesn't, it's, it's, it's not, but you can make it whichever colours and you're using, but like I say, quite masculine style in this one, but it's still as a, as a package and as a product, by the way, so it works beautifully in it either does. way, doesn't it? It it's, does. So this here, we've used exactly the same curved die as we used there to formulate the perfect mat and layer that's going to sit onto there. So it's got the same curve. Mm -hmm. We've got different panels here that you can do your journaling on and everything else so we're going to have a to-do list mm, I've got a lot of them yeah so that's going to go into there okay now what we didn't do which we should have done is put our little hole in mm, we'll leave it I was going to put I was going to put a little hole in in there let's do it by hand there is a die to put a little hole in, okay? Because that's where the ribbon is going to tie. Oh, but see. now we're going to play with this middle section here. So, taking a plain piece of cardstock, we're going to take that beautiful scallop die that's mm -hmm. going to sit within there. No, we're not. Changing my mind. <laughs> we're going to go with the straight edge. And we're going to cut ourselves some of those out. So, let's just have a look how big this piece of card is. Let's fold it in half because then we can cut two at a time and do it that way so let's take that down there let's run that through the machine mm -hmm. so all the way through uh. and then we're going to take my favorite die oh, oh really? i love it can you, you, you guys have a favorite die no but i do i'm a crafter so <laughs> tough <laughs> <laughs> so let's put these both the right way see the nap of the card is both going in the same di direction let's place those together so the level and just stick them down the bottom okay mm -hmm. then we're going to come in with this little die here okay now we're going to place that across the top of there let me just make sure I've got it the right way around I have because if you do it one way you're going to get bubbles if you do it the other way it look like note paper oh okay so I'm going to come across the top of there and stick that one down and run that through. Right. So this now we're going to have note paper. Effect. I was just going to say, is this the one there? Yeah. So look. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So when we just give it. That's brilliant. <laughs> isn't that amazing? So if you just take it apart and just apply your adhesive across those top nozzles then it allows you to actually tear it like you would normal oh, note, note paper. <laughs> so let's put it across the back as well. And that is going to come and stick into there. So you've now got what traditionally would be the note paper sort of effect. Yeah turn it over and we can decorate the other side now but that's the thing isn't it you haven't got to try and find a bit of pad that you can match it out to the size you've got you make your own pad you do <laughs> that's absolutely brilliant. so now when you're folding this up this is where you start to think so if i just turn back when that folds in there you want that photo to be that way round. so when you're sticking it on that photo needs to be on upside down okay yeah. Oh, see, this is the stuff that tests me. Yeah. And this is what I like about memory books. It keeps my grey matter right. ticking. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're thinking of which way, which it's... flat flop is going to go. Yeah. So that one is going to go into there. 
We've got the little notes. So that's one of those little um, typefaces. Mm. And that's going to go on my top. Yeah, there's quite a few of those, isn't there? The there is. Are, so got. that is going to sit into there. We're going to have the extra one in the middle there. But remember us saying there's not much waste left. <laughs> that's yeah? it. That's the waste. In this instance, what we're going to do is we're chopping it off at the little nozzle. And then this is going to glue on the inside of there. Because this is actually going to be your wraparound tie. Oh, wow. From the cup, from the, from the off cup? Yeah, from the <laughs> off cup. So let's add that one into there. Don't forget all of these dies, these are all part of the legacy uh, uh, keeper. So uh, everything you're seeing that's being used here is all, uh, is all part of that same set as well. It's approaching limited stock, don't forget. Don't so that one is going to go into there. And then the last couple are going to go on. So that one into there. And then this one is going to come into here. Now, had I put the hole in when I should have put the hole in, this is where that baker's twine was going to tie to go into there. Okay, let's see. If, I'll, I'll see if I can do it in, in a minute. Okay, so let's fold all our crease lines. So literally go round. So all the way around, making sure that all those crease lines are in the right places. So that one's going to go into there. That one's going to fold up to there. That's going to come down there. Can you see what I'm saying yes, now? Yeah, Had I that. managed to not make a silly mistake, we could have put our holes in there and the baker's twine then would have gone through right. and tied it. So let's see if we can do it. I think you can still make that happen. Let's see, shall we? Come on, in that hole, love. Get in. <laughs> come on, come on. It's not going to go through. Aww. Yeah, but literally, put your baker's twine through there, and then that would have locked Got that you. one in. Got you. And then when you fold this up, this little one is going to wrap. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to wrap around there, and we would put a little magnet just in there oh, to hold it. But then you would have would have had that That's would have been pretty. tied. So you would have undone that. And then that would have flopped down there, and that would have come up there. Yeah. And you you can just make them That's in lovely. different ways. Yeah. 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 You don't have to make them all in the same way. You can take little bits off and add little bits in different manners. You can elongate them, or you can use them completely on their own. If you just pass me that book there. This one here? Yeah. Yeah. So this will show you some different wow. ways to, to, to use them. So this is your, your memory book too. All right. So if I go inside here, can you see the tabs? Yes, these, I these see. They've been yeah. made into the little tabs. The words have been used in, individually. On here, you've got that huge die. That's that one there. Yeah, yeah. And then when you open that up, can you see that <laughs> that is actually that? But yeah, wrapped around the backing page. Right, right. So you've now got different flaps and folds in, in there. Same on this side. Look how that's it's wrapped magical. around it really is. that page. And what I was saying about that speciality die that makes pockets, you see how it's been cut into there? Yes, yeah. So yeah. you've now got little pockets in your backing paper to be able to put your tabs oh, in. What a lovely idea. Lovely idea. We have had an email come through as well. Uh, where was the email from that uh, was asking about the, the, the GS? Alina. Hi, Nina. Nina. Nina was asking um, the actual GSM or the sort of paper or cards or sort of work. Right, with. so if you are making these, you can make these out of the Craft Perfect 216 because you literally are putting so many different layers on different sides, mm. then you're building up the weight of the cardstock there. So, yeah, the Craft Perfect 216 is absolutely fine. Lovely. Great, thank you. Great question as well coming through. Uh, I think Tracy has also sent us a lovely picture through Hello. as well. Look at this. I love Lovely. it with the butterflies. 
That's fantastic. Thank you very much indeed, Tracy. That is lovely. So that's the uh, the bookmaker we got there as well. That's limited stock on that one, but that one's already come through. So that's fantastic. Thank you for sharing. Uh, that's really beautiful. Love that. Really gorgeous. Keep your emails coming through. Keep the pictures coming through as well so we can see and let Jody can see all the work that's been taking place as well. Um, th these are really are lovely, aren't they? They're great. They as are. Say, as unique as we are as individuals. Yeah, really. absolutely. This is my passion. This literally is my passion. When I switch off, this is what I make. I make memory books and all the little keepsakes. And I'm afraid I don't give them away. <laughs> I, I, don't, so no. I, don't, I have shelves of them at home. So this is the latest and greatest within the memory book collection. If you've never dipped your foot in the memory books and you're frightened to, this is a place to start because you can make beautiful little projects from one sheet of A4 cardstock. Yeah, and then it's up to you how you build and construct them. But like that lady's email before, although this is not going to fit through her machine, she's buying it for all the additional mm. inserts in the, in there. Because I have to say, the inserts in there are absolutely yeah, amazing. Are. Whether you're using them on your cardstock, whether you're using them in your books, you can use them in so many different ways. We've actually had another email that's echoed the first email that a lady has said that actually yeah. I haven't got that larger sort of size at the moment to cut with but all the components until I've upgraded in size are, is worth getting for that alone as well. Absolutely. There's so many parts, I mean if, if you break it down I'm, I'm looking through the back here now that panel so you've got one two three four five you've got six nice size mm. panels that you'll be paying on average about five pounds yeah. each for then you've got all your backing ones then you've got your large diet and look at that price 32.99 yeah. you have got the whole kit and caboodle in there to do panels yeah. to do cars to do memory books to do legacy keepers all in one collection and i think when you start on this you you, you want to upgrade as soon as you can to be able yeah. to put all this together as well in that yeah. which i think is lovely and even actually in the original price of 39.99 just for those components that's already fantastic but don't forget you've also got another seven pounds saving on top of that plus you're going to get your free birthday gift as well from us yeah. that you're going to get plus you also when you mentioned tonic 17 you're going to get that as a free uh, membership as well for the freedom member for a month if you've already member then you'll get an equivalent uh, gift up to the value of of six pounds ninety seven which is what the value is as well so really 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 good offer six one seven four five eight now the memory book which I had a lovely question saying that what do I need as a basic to start with as well this is it isn't it this is at the very beginning what we're looking at it here. is so this is your base core book this is going to enable you to make your books in five different sizes with all the pages in there and with that professional spine as well so there's loads and loads of different ways of playing with this maybe you want it landscape maybe you want it portrait it doesn't matter you can have them in whatever way you want them to be now looking at the dies you have got pages that don't cut on the outside they're going to create your pages you've got matte layers to go inside there as well but you can also make amazing cards with it as well so for instance if I just bring this in this is one of our Edna's this is actually a card she's made this from the book itself oh, right. okay. so that is actually one of the pages out of the book She's made it into a card. Oh, I see. Then when I undo that there, she's actually used the Legacy Keeper down the front. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually then take that and put it inside the book. Oh, because yes. all you're going to do is put the glue down the side and stick it to the spine. So that could be a page layout inside your books. What a great, a great idea. Yeah. yeah There's yeah. loads and loads of ways of playing with these. So as I say, you can have them, the large ones, the medium sized ones, or even the smaller ones. Do some landscape as well. This is done so it's landscape. Nice. Let me get it the right way round. So inside there, you've still got all your flips your flaps, all your different elements in there. You've got pockets that open. Where's the pockets? Here, here we go. You've got pockets that open as well. And this is all done from this one set of that dies. Really lovely. And uh, I know that uh, this is actual spines that sort of it brings is. it all together, isn't it? So everything everything you need uh, is all there for the construction. You'll see that all comes through and then folds up a concertines that so you get a really nice professional edge and a lovely finish. It does. It looks great, now, if it? you are using these in conjunction with your Legacy Keeper, if you go onto my Facebook and go onto Wine Time, not this Tuesday, but last Tuesday's wine time, I show you how to elongate this spine so that this size book will fit into your spine as, as well. Oh, okay. okay. It was also the second show I did of this, so 
what day was today? Saturday? Sunday. Right, so Friday at three or two, if you watch it on Rewind, I show you how to change the spine so that these will fit into this book as well. How do you remember that after so many shows? I remember when that was... <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> You're doing amazing. You're doing amazing. It is just hanging on by a thread. We are at 97% oh. of the stock now. So we'll talk about limited. Uh, 676718 to go for this one. Again, a great saving of £8. So it's under £25 now. £24.98. 676718. Get it. 97% of the stock now then already allocated. This is your chance to get it. So, so popular indeed. But something that I know you're going to absolutely love working with this. I'm sure looking forward to see all the pictures and again just for one little blast let's have a little look again at some more inspirational moments have a look at this Lots of inspiration there. We've also got some more inspiration here, sort of looking at for these. Yeah, they... because you have not seen inside these books the ones that have been at the front we've not seen, have we? So let's have a look because they're all different. So looking at the front, we've got little notes on the front. So we undo our ribbon. So we've got panels in there to be able to decorate. We've got the flaps at the top. We're going to come down. We've got little tags mm. just down the bottom there. So absolutely beautiful little tags in there. So let's flip that that over and you can see how those are decorated. They are beautiful. So that is in its simplistic form. So that is all the panels all together. Right. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, this one's in a knot. Yeah, you wouldn't do that be one. Yeah, I'll do this one. So we've got a little handbag. So Edna's made it into a handbag. So when we open this one up, it all folds down. But then when we turn it round, we've got the flips and the flaps that open the other way. Yeah? So it's entirely up to you how you want to put these together. Maybe you are the same as me and find that little note paper <laughs> absolutely divine. We've got all little note papers, pads in there. I the recipe open. book. So we open that recipe book up and all those are going to flip down and have your That's notes great, and everything inside. But look how little decorative paper you've used. You've mm. hardly used anything. And for me, as a graphic 45 lover, I don't like to use a lot of it. <laughs> yeah? I'm, I'm, I'm stingy, I'm a Yorkshire lass. Yeah? <laughs> so lit literally, that looks amazing, but I've used very little. It's lovely. It is. They are so lovely. Uh, stock update. Uh, the li uh, oh. legacy. It's, it is uh, limited stock on the legacy. Keep people looking at there, and also the bookmaker. The bookmaker has now gone. So technically, it's there. It's sold out. Um, so it's all in your baskets. Check out your baskets, and you've got them. Uh, we'll let you know if any bounce back at all as well. Uh, Jody, it's been a lovely hour. It's with been you. my Thank pleasure. Thank you so much start. indeed to be yeah. part of the birthday celebration with mm -hmm. you. You're back at. I'm back at two. Two o'clock. Sometime. For more birthday party. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Make sure you come back and join Jodie then. Bye. See you soon. So, coming up, your next, we've got Sewing with Six Penny Memories. Then we've got, of course, your fantastic wax art there after that. And then, of course, your tonic best of one day special here on Hachanda.
This has to be one of the most satisfying sounds ever. Morning. Hello. Zips. That's what we've got coming up. Uh, and also, we've got a star by coming up as well. Now, I predict this is going to go absolutely billy bonkers. Uh, we have got for you Curataki paints, metallic water-based paints, and a water brush as well. This is our star by that we've hand chosen. Liam, myself, Chris, um, and Matt, my floor manager, we've all kind of teamed up and thought that is going to be something worth having. And that's our star by coming up a little bit later on, uh, somewhere between now and the end of the hour. And welcome if you've just found us online. Great to have your company. Uh, I'm Dave and we do this every day well not every day but most days at 11 a.m. just online we're not on the TV with this it's just literally on your smartphone on your tablet on your computer we are on uh, Periscope we are on YouTube we are on what else are we on um, obviously craftpricedrop.com which is where you're hopefully watching us at the moment and on Facebook as well we're on Facebook live too so if you do want to take part in this and put things in your basket and check out please do it on the website not hachanda.com it's craftpricedrop.com so if you're watching us on Facebook Facebook or Periscope or any of those platforms, make sure you log on to craftpricedrop.com and you'll be able to put things in your basket. And it works exactly the same way as when we're on the telly. So in other words, we've got a falling price auction for the next hour. We've got the item number of the item, we've got the description of the item, and then underneath it we have the price that it should be. Underneath that, we then have that white box, which is where that price starts to fall. Now, where that price goes to and where we lock the price, we have no idea. We don't have a Scooby, because it's all down to you to basically put things in your basket and check out. When you take that stock down, eventually we will get to zero quantity available. That's when the price is locked. And everyone will pay the final lock price and postage of $4.95, unless you are a Freedom member, which most of you watching probably are. And hello, say hello to us on Facebook say hello to us email in or whatever say hello and we'll give you some name checks through the show but yeah most of you that take part in this are freedom members so you don't pay any PMP if you want to join it's treble eight treble eight your item number order it like an item and it's six pounds 97 for membership that's it that's all the housekeeping done let us show you item number one then how many zips have we got just here in every color imaginable great isn't it now you've got from four inches up to 22 inches in length in every color that you can possibly think of there are literally 50 nylon zips here so they are trimmable if you want to trim them to a certain length you can do with a pair of standard scissors they're not metal zips obviously the sliders are metal and even the sliders are color coordinated as well they should be a pound a zip but today they are not going to be anywhere near one pound a zip make the zip a feature of the garment that you're actually putting it on Heather, hello Heather, you're a regular, I recognise your name. Kaylee's also saying hello to me as well. Morning Kaylee, good to know you're there as well. Let's get that price plummeting, let's get that first plummet down to 34.67, making them only 69p per zip at the moment. And they are in varying lengths, remember. You can trim them if you wish to. The zip is exactly the same colour as the fabric around it. But, you know, these days you've probably noticed, actually, certainly on ladies' dresses, zips used to be concealed and hidden, but now they're actually part of the garment. They're part of the fashion. They're almost like a designer feature. So you can have a zip that stands out, make it a feature of the garment rather than making it to kind of blend in. You've got dark blue, you've got black, you've got salmon pink, you've got green, brown, uh, pinks, turquoises. They're all here. And, you know, when you're doing things like little makeup bags or something like that this sort of size of zip is absolutely perfect for it and uh, yeah you just basically stitch them in and away you go Ye lemon yellow gray blue pink it's all there for you four inches right the way up to 22 inches and everything in between they're very good quality too actually very good quality indeed now 33.89 how low can we go for 50 quality nylon zips we've already taken it down once Let's take it down a second time. Another plummet. When the arrows start flashing, the prices start crashing. Under 20 quid. How much is that a zip? 40p. Now, obviously, the longer zips will be more expensive than the shorter ones, but as an average, 40p a zip, and they're still going down at £19.74 for all 50 of these zips. Whether you're making little bags, whether you're making little cosmetic cases, whether you're making your own dresses, zips are obviously 
a must-have. Uh, whether it's je uh, jeans or whether it's um, uh, clothing or, or you know slacks or, or, or car keys or, or, or chinos or whatever it is that you're making, you know, a zip is needed. You've got every colour imaginable here for just £19.49. Are these brand new? Or have they been on before? They have been on before. Not on a show that I've done, though. I've not seen them until today. Under 20 quid. Charlie and uh, Emily, our producer, they've had them once before, but this is the first time that we've had them. Say hello to the gang today. Chris is directing. Uh, we've got, of course, uh, Liam producing, and we've also got Matt on the floor here with me today. That's your team for Craft Price Drop. There they are, Laura. There's Liam on the right, Chris on the left. Morning. That's Mission Control. I forgot we had a camera in there, by the way. Yeah, you can breathe out now, Liam. Thanks. £14.99. £35 off. £35 off, 50 quid starting price, we're under £15, £14.96 and here comes the stock. That's when you have to get in quick because we've only got six of these sets of zips to go around. Six to go. At £14.96, how much lower can we go or is this going to be the, uh, the, start, the stopping price? All depends on Liam and it depends on you. We can see how many of you are coming in. Someone's just come in and taken it to five. 20, uh, 50 zips from four inches up to 22 in all of these fantastic colours. Julie, thank you very much. You've taken it down to five. Put it in your basket and check out. That's the key thing. Always have us on your screen, but also have us on your computer at the same time so you can easily put what you want in the basket. Don't put it before the auction. Don't put it in after the auction because you'll only be charged the higher price, which no one wants. Put it in your basket and check out during the live auction, which is what we're at at the moment. Helen says, hi, handsome. Heather, oh, hi. You can wonder what channel you're watching for a minute. £14.79, morning, Heather. Morning, beautiful. <laughs> Return the favour. £14.79, pence then. One left at £14.79. Oh, who's to take the last one? Paula. Price lock. Hello, morning announcer. Yeah, he's here. He's bright. He's breezy. He's locked the price for us, and Paula took it to zero. But everyone pays that final low price of fourteen pounds seventy-nine p, and no one paid postage. Nobody paid postage. And don't forget, we've got the Curataki paints coming up in the show. I've got a rough idea where the price is going to go on this. Don't know exactly. We never know exactly. Should we guarantee that this is going to go under twenty pounds? Why not? Let's do it. Kurataki metallic paints and a water brush are going to be under 20 quid. What should it be, I wonder? Right, now, I went out with my folks, actually, over the weekend. It was my mum's birthday recently, and we uh, went to a place in the New Forest called Burley. I don't know if you've ever been there, where the New Forest ponies roam around on the streets. And it's really lovely. Uh, but what I noticed, it's a lovely, quaint New Forest town. There were loads of stags in all the shop windows. Stags in etched glasses. Stags with figurines that you can put on the wall. Stag printed fabric like this. Stags were everywhere. It's one of the hottest trends and the hottest look around at the moment. And we've got for you, from Lovecrafts, we've got three stag fabrics. Now, these are a little bit Highland in their theme, as stags often are. You've got a tartan stag with a red background. Now, look at the size of this. They're actually 113 by 100 centimetres, so just over a metre square. So imagine these as stag cushions, stag aprons. They're supposed to be £15 a sheet. £45 for three sheets of stag fabric. Gorgeous quality, 100% cotton. There is your stag on the red background. Here we've got the cream with the red tartan stag. like that one a lot. Aren't they gorgeous? Maybe you're doing patchwork. Maybe you're doing a quilt. You want to incorporate a few stags in with your appliques and your, uh, your patterns and your patchwork that you're, you're cutting out with the dies that you got yesterday from, um, from, of course, Crafter's Companion, those fantastic mixed media dies. And then the final one, probably the most traditional, actually, is this lovely, rich Sherwood green with, again, a red tartan stag printed all the way over it. Tell us what you're going to be making. If you're buying this fabric today, what are you going to make with it? What have you got in your mind's eye? Are these going to be festive? Are they going to be your winter... Are they going to be your winter cushion covers? Are they going to be a throw? Are they going to be a rug? Are they going to be... Well, not a rug, but are they going to be maybe a quilt that you're going to put over in the back of, the, of your favourite chair or back of your, uh, your sofa or whatever? It's fab, isn't it? £45, £15 a sheet. They're all 113 by 100. Here we go with the plummet. 30 quid. £30. We've taken it from 45 down to 30. £15 off. You're getting one of those panels for nothing. 
You're paying for two, but you're getting one absolutely free. And mix them together. The pattern is exactly the same. The size of the stag is exactly the same, but the colours, of course, are different. And they will mix and match together beautifully well. I can just imagine a quilt being made out of that. I'd love that. A stag quilt. Maybe you're going to be putting it over the foot of the bed so your feet don't get cold at night. It's that time of the year now, isn't it? 29.84 still going down we've taken 15 pounds off and it's going down again the prices are crashing as the arrows are flashing online only remember craftpricedrop.com here we go 25.69 a 20 pound roughly saving off the price for all three of those stag fabrics you can't get a much more popular style than a stag at the moment it's huge whether it's a modern flat you live in, whether it's a country cottage you live in, the stag is always going to look lovely. Twenty-five fifty-three. That makes each of these sheets now eight fifty-four. Eight fifty-four each. Green, cream, and red. And the price is still going down. If you want to applique with them, if you want to die cut with them, of course you can do that. What are you going to be doing with them? Tell us. Tell your friends if they're not watching us to tune in. Craftpricedrop.com on your smartphone, on your tablet, on your TV, on your computer. That's where we do this virtually every day at 11 a.m. 25.37, we've got six left. Someone's just taken it down to six. You can buy as many of these as you like. They are pre-cut panels, so they won't come on one long continuous roll. They will be pre-cut to 100 by 113 centimeters. From Lovecrafts, five left. 25.33, really good value for money when you consider they should be £15 each. You're getting over one of them for nothing. All you've got to do, put them in your basket, check out. Like you're buying something normally from us at craftpricedrop.com. That is the website for the online version only. We'll be doing, of course, the TV version every day at 7am and 7pm. Matt will have one tonight. And Matt, actually, you'll be tuning in, I'm sure, to see the new Hachanda boy band. I'm saying not much more than that, but there will be music. There will be music tonight on Craft Price Drop at 7 p.m. and there'll be music in your home as well. Tune in to Matt tonight, it's gonna to be fun. Last one, last set of those fabrics remaining. One left at 25 pounds, 20 pounds saved. It's gone. Price lock. There we are, confirmed, the price is locked. No one pays a penny more than 25 pounds. Has anyone, Liam, paid P&P at all today so far? No. Not a single person has paid a penny postage. So it should be 4.95 PMP, but remember, Freedom members don't pay any postage. And maybe you've been buying things from Tonic over the last 11 days to celebrate their birthday with us on the television, and you've got Tonic membership, and you're thinking, ooh, what do I do with it? I've never had it before. It means you don't pay PMP on any Hachanda show or on Craft Price Drop. And watch out for uh, special um, uh, freedom prices on certain items on our shows as well. OK, let's move on then to a very, very popular brand, Whenever it's here, everybody loves the Spellbinders. The Spellbinders journey has probably been going on in your craft room for years and years and years. You've got 14 of these fantastic dies from Spellbinders. They're all individual and separate. And you've got various different patterns. Some of them cut and embossed. Some of them just purely cut. But what it will do is it will give you these wonderful decorative edges to the top of whatever you want to cut into, whether it's an invite, whether it's a poster, whether it's a letter, a memo, whatever it might be. It's going to give you these beautiful, decorative edges what about if you're putting maybe um, multiple layers matting and layering then why not have all these different edges to your cardstock when you're matting and layering it look lovely so you can work with them on their own individually or you can work with them as multiples like on the front of the packaging so you've got all these lovely patterns on this one this one slightly more ornate as well similar but different in that you've got a like a tiger tooth like a jagged edge to the bottom die you've then got florals and swirls and that sort of thing the scallop edges where you've got the the raised areas there that's an embossed so that will actually emboss into the cardstock as well as cutting edges you've got some that just purely emboss for you so it's 14 dies 55 pounds and 20 pence is their worth that is what they should be they should be 27.60 per set and you get remember seven dies in each that's so really good value at the full price but we are going to go down how low can we go let's take it to half price. Let's take it to what you should be paying for one set. You're getting both for £27.60. You're looking at £13.80 per set. That's all you're paying at the moment if that's where the price stays. But I've got a sneaking suspicion that price will probably go lower. 
but the trick and this is what everybody who takes part in craft price drop will back me up with the trick to playing craft price drop is to get it in your basket and check out if you do that when the auctions live like this one is you will be guaranteed to pay the final low price your debit or credit card will not be debited with anything other than final low price and hopefully no p and p now at the moment it is working out at about um 13 pounds 75 ish a set isn't it yeah about 13.75 a set but look what about if we can go under 10 pound a die set let's get that price right down 1992 a very good year if you want that 1992 is all it is at the moment for all 14 dice so about one pound 30 a die at the moment roughly 1992 the arrows are coming to show you the quantities about to be displayed we've only got six sets left six sets each with 14 dies in it remember these are going to be really useful dies to have as well because they just give decorative edges to whatever you're working on whether it's a card blank whether it's a notice whether it's a menu pauline's there saying good morning hachanda morning pauline nice to know you're watching watching us on craftpricedrop.com hopefully remember if you're watching us on periscope or on facebook or you're watching us on uh where else are we uh, youtube make sure that you've got craftpricedrop.com somewhere on your device because that is the place to put your order in. you can watch us on the other platforms but you can't order on those you need to order on craftpricedrop.com in your basket check out job done you're in the auction we've got four left we're under 20 quid for all 14 dies, working at about £1.40 per die from Spellbinders. When you just want a decorative edge, whether it's just a plain scallop or whether it's something a little bit more fancy, a little bit more decorative, it's your call. Use them independently of each other or use them all together. It's entirely up to you when you do your matting and layering. Two remaining. Less than £20, you've saved over £35. You've saved £35 and 28p off the price. One left. And it's gone. That's the last one. Price locked. Price is locked. Price is confirmed. Everybody pays that final low price of £19.92p. Remember, if you check out your basket between when the auction starts and when it ends, you're guaranteed to pay the low price. If you've got it in your basket and you haven't checked out and you try and check out after we've locked the price, one of two things will happen. Either the stock's completely gone. If any bounce back, you'll then be charged the high price. If someone changes their mind or their card doesn't go through for whatever reason or anything like that, you'll then be charged the higher price, which we don't want anyone to pay. So always check out before we get to price lock, okay? Now, star by coming up, Kurataki Paints. We've got quite a healthy quantity of these as well. We've got quite a few. So if you love Kurataki, if you love your Kurataki pens, I know Jenny Mays raves about Kurataki every single time she's here. She brings amazing pens. Well, here's a chance to use metallic paints from Kurataki. You even get a water brush with it as well. That price is going to go under £20. How much lower than 20 Not sure, but it will go under 20 Now, what about decorative embellishments? Sparkle. Now, you can pay a lot of money for sequins and sparkle. You really, really can. What we've got here now are a total of 24 individual packs of beauty and sparkle and wonderful colours. You've got greens, blues, pinks. You've got some um, AB finish. I mean, look at these flowers. Look at all of these. Every single petal on all of these multicolored flowers has got an AB finish to it and a little hole in the centre. So if you want to actually sew them onto things, you can. You can decorate blouses and clothing and blankets with them if you want to. You can, of course, use them with glue if you wish to as well. You've got jet black sequins. How decadent is that? A certain TV program starts again, doesn't it, next week, where sequins are the rule, sequins are the law. Um, and it's just kind of, it's, it's kind of blending into everyday life as well, isn't it? Lots of you like to wear sparkle these days in your clothing. Why not get these today? 24 packs. Should be £59.70 for all of these. And that's a, a very, very, very good price as well. And if you're watching Tonic earlier on, you'll have seen us with the, uh, the glitter and the sequins in, in that collection. And that was about 50 odd pounds, or six, should have been 60 pounds. So yeah, that's kind of a ballpark sort of figure for quality sequins like this. We have halved it. We have taken it to under 30 pounds. 29.89 is all you pay for all of these. You've got flowers, you've got uh, rounded petals, you've got some that are slightly more abrupt, more pointed. I'm um, look at that salmon pink that you've got there as well with that beautiful pink and gold together. Doesn't that work? 
29.89 is half the price it should be if I put a few of them in my hand, just so you can see. Look, every one has got a little hole in it, so they can be sewn. It's £1.25 a pack. And I don't know how many are in there, but you've got, I would suggest, hundreds. You get a lot in there. A lot for your money. Whether you separate them, use them on their own, whether you cluster them, put them into glue, sew them on, whatever you want to do with them, they are basically little floral sequins which will sparkle and delight you. You'll love them. Um, here you've got this kind of petrol blue, petrol blue and green, which is absolutely lovely. Aren't they gorgeous? Now that price is still going down. We haven't rested on our laurels. We've not stuck at 30 quid. We're going down into 28 pound territory now, 28 pound 97. Mix them up. Don't just keep them color specific. Mix all the colors together. But use them in shaker cards. If you went for the, in the tonic uh, show that we did earlier on, if you're watching that at nine o'clock, maybe you went for those Christmas trees with those bubbles, the blisters, uh, and you're looking for things to put into your shaker cards. Perfect for shaker cards because they're big. Um, glitter sometimes can get stuck in shaker cards because it's very, very fine and it gets a bit staticky. Whereas these are bigger and chunkier, so they're more likely to shake, which is what I want, you want a shaker card to do. And you don't have to be tight with them either because you're getting so many. 24 packs of sequin embellishments. We're down to 26 97 um, Here's another type of flower that we got here as well. These are like little cuffs. They're really cute. Look, like little cuffs. Aren't they lovely? You get hundreds in each pack. I'm not going to sit there and count them all, but you get an awful lot. Look at that for a lovely colour as well. That kind of bronzy, coppery colour. Here comes the quantity. How many have we got? We've got five packs of these left. If you are a little bit tight and a bit frugal with your sequins and your embellishments, because you remember how much you paid each pack when you bought them on their own, you don't have to be tight with these. You've got thousands and thousands and thousands of sequins. This is a different type of one as well. You get a blue and a pink in this. It's about £1.12 pence a pack at the moment. Two of you have just come in. We've taken it down to four. Four sets of these beautiful sequins left. Only three remaining now. They all come in separate packs, so you can keep them separate. You can mix them together if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Three left. Three chances to get those beautiful floral sequins. Better than half price. Down from 59.70 to 26.93. Star buy is coming soon. Not, not, not next, but it's coming soon. We've got two left. And don't forget, tonight, Matt will be entertaining you, I hope. Zero quantity price left, it's closed. Left. There we are, we've locked that price. Yeah, if you love, maybe, do you like the song Angels? Do you like Dancing Queen? Um, like a Virgin? Do you like that? Any of those songs? It's got nothing to do with craft. Nothing to do with craft. But... Hachanda stands for Home of Craft, Hobbies and Arts. You can sing as a hobby. Good. So you could be singing with Matt tonight on telly at 7 o'clock, not to be missed. Right, now, I love this. I want this. I need this in my life. This, for wrapping up presents at Christmas. Do you, are you like me? Do you put the tree out really early? I was talking to Abby yesterday, um, Abby and Lizzie. Uh, she was saying she often puts her tree up in, uh, in November. Her husband loves Christmas so much. Any excuse to put it up. Uh, Chris, my director, is saying 12 days before, 12 days after. That's what he does. Uh, Liam, my producer, I'm with you, Liam. 1st of December, the tree goes up. I'm exactly the same. I like to get my money's worth out of my tree. I love having it in the home. And take it down just after New Year's Eve. That yeah, sounds about right. That's what I do too. But if the tree's up, what about all the presents that are around it? Or do you have dummy presents? Um, they're there for a month in my house, under the tree, looking lovely or hopefully looking lovely so wrapping them well and putting ribbons on them wow great also you can use these maybe to decorate maybe you've got a staircase you can decorate the balustrades make ribbons out of them you know make bows out of them out of this ribbon this is from who's who sent us this is his craft buddy looks as if it might be a pack of seven assorted wire edged christmas ribbons you've got 36 meters in total each one 520 centimeters so half a meter each no that's bigger than half a meter that's huge it's not half a meter <laughs> wrong look that is a meter that's another meter it's more like two and a half two and a half meters each ribbon and you've got thin wire going down the outside edges so if you want to tie a knot or a bow it keeps its shape. Now, look, 
you've got snowflakes, glitter snowflakes on the Hessian, and whether you're, I don't know, wrapping up some plants with them, presents with them, decorating the home with them, they will look absolutely lovely. Chris, my director, he's get, get, getting some of these for his, uh, his lovely dear lady, I think. Now, already, we have, I don't know how many of these we've got. How many have we got of these? Quite a few. Should we show you? Let's show you the quantity, because I think a lot of you will be interested in these. Here comes the quantity on the screen. 35.92. We haven't dropped the price at all yet, but we will do soon. There's 14 chances. OK, so only 14 of you can get these. We're getting now. Put it in your basket, because they are going to drop the price right now. Here we go. 14 chances to get all of this wonderful ribbon. Um, we reckon it's two and a half metres each, not a half metre at all. Uh, you've got your candy canes that are printed with glitter on there as well. So each one of these is two and a half metres long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight. 36 metres in total. Is it more like four, four and a half, five metres? The 36 metres in total of this ribbon anyway. There's your candy cane. The next one. Sorry. Lorraine, you've taken it to 13. Thank you for that. Chris, our director, is going to take it to 12 any second. Yeah, he's in on this one. 14.98. He doesn't even know where the price is going to go. I don't. Neither does Liam. It depends on you. How quickly you take the stock to zero, that locks the price. There's your snowman ribbon. More hessian here with little stars on them. They're beautiful, these. I really do like these. There's your tartan. Again, they're all wired, so if you do want to make bows out of them, they're going to keep their shape. They're not going to droop on you. Nothing worse than having a droopy bow. Um, then you've got your holly. You've got your candy canes as well with a red, and then you've got your flourishes and swirls. So that's not even Christmas. That could be for any type of wrapping, any sort of gift. I mean, can you imagine if a, if a store, a high-end department store, offered you the wrapping service and put a bow around it like this? They'd charge you a fortune. They really would charge you a fortune. All eight of these fantastic ribbons, 12 98 we're down now to single figure stock. We only have nine of these. Whether it's decoration for the home, whether it's wrapping presents and putting them round and putting a lovely bow on the present, that would look great under the tree. Um, maybe you're making festive bows that you want to wear. You could put a little kind of brooch pin on the back of that and wear it, why not? But look, each one of these is huge. So much, look. I reckon this, this, yeah, this has got to be, what, four metres long at least. Loads of it. Love it. And recycle it as well. When you open up the presents, you may throw away the paper. Don't throw away the ribbon. Reuse it next year. Because this is worth its weight in gold. It's lovely stuff, this, actually. Down to our last five. Five chances to get these. We're at £12.80 for 36 metres of Hessian ribbon. Printed, glittered. I love it. Again, making the home festive, making it look absolutely lovely, making it a dream to come home at night and chill out and relax. Two remaining at £12.74. Lots of interest in this one. I hope you get it. One left. Always worth dropping into Craft Price Drop. You never know what's going to be featured, what's coming up next. One left and it's gone. Congratulations, everybody. Price lock. Everybody pays that final low price. And that was, just to remind you, £12.74. That's what you'll find on your statement for your credit card or your debit card. £12.74. Anyone pay postage, Liam? No one paid PMP. It is star by time. And hopefully you won't pay PMP on this either. Now, I've been teasing you about this. You need to get this in your basket now because I think there's going to be a big, big surge for this. Remember, whatever you do is craftpricedrop.com. That is the website to go to. That's where you'll find this, and that's where you can put it in your basket and check out like you do normally on a normal High Chander show. You will then pay the final low price. Look, when it comes to colour, there's one name. Well, there's more than one name, but there's one name, certainly, that stands for quality. Kurataki. Whether it's the pens that you love from them, or whether it's, in this instance, the wonderful paints. These are gem colours. You've actually got these are metallic toned Ganzai watercolours that sparkle like gemstones. You can use them for calligraphy, brush lettering, illustrating and so on. There are your colours. Look at these. And they are all separate. So if you want to take them out and move the colours, uh, the order of them around, you can do. Gem green. Oh, I may have mixed them up, actually. I've just realised that. I picked them up earlier and realised that they were separate because they all fell out. So let me put them back in the right place. <laughs> Uh, yellow, yeah, there we are, yellow gold. And just to prove that they are Kurataki, because they are Japanese, there we are, it's in Japanese on the back. So this one is your green, so there is, where's the green? There. 
Then we have the blue, gem blue, it's like a sapphire. Then you've got your violet, then you've got your pink, and then you've got your red. They're all in the right place now. And you also get, remember, not only these wonderful paints, but you're also getting your water brush as well. Um, it comes completely empty. Obviously, there's no point in putting water in it from our point of view. You do that when you get it home. You can squeeze to pump the water through the brush, and of course, you can use that to do your painting. But look at the metallic luster you've got on those colours. Aren't they gorgeous? Kiritaki, the pigment in there, superb. No nasty smells, they are water-based, but they will give you a metallic finish like no other. 26.64, I promised you that this is gonna go below 20 pounds. Lots of you have got these in your basket right now. We are gonna go under 20 quid, but I can assure you, how much lower than 20 pounds, who knows? There we go. 1987, guaranteed, as I said, to be less than 20 pounds for Kiritaki paints. But we're not happy with just under 20 quid. We want to go lower than that as well. Get them in your basket now, though. They'll be with you very, very soon. If you love painting, maybe you've been watching Matthew Palmer recently and he's inspired you to take up painting. Invest in Kiritaki paints, especially when they're on a craft price drop, price plummet. Here we go. 14 49 Now, Heather's just messaged to say that she's actually bought these before. They've been on before, have they? I've not seen them before. Okay. On the main channel, right, okay, on her channel. She's bought these and she saw them on the main channel, bought them. She absolutely loves them. They're absolutely gorgeous, she says. Thank you for that, Heather. This is craft price drop. This means the price is ridiculously affordable. Half virtually the price it should be, nearly half price. 14 pounds, 41 pence is where we're at at the moment. What would you pay for a water brush like that? That's gotta be five or six pounds worth of value at least, hasn't it? Beautiful soft bristles. You can use it with all your other water-based paints that you use as well. But Kiritaki, these have got the metallic pigments to them. Here we go, another plummet. How low can we go for the star buy? £13.32p for Kiritaki palette paints. I've not seen them before. Heather has. They're still going lower. I don't know what Heather paid for hers. Did she pay £26.64? That's what the price should be. Now let's show you the quantity. We selected this because of the value, the quality and the quantity. So hopefully we've got enough to go round this morning. I hope we have. 24 sets left. That is a healthy quantity. Sometimes we just have ones, twos, threes, fours on Craft Price Drop online. But in this instance, we've got a lot. 24 available. They make amazing gifts if you want to give the gift of quality. You know, when you buy paints, unless you know the brand, you're on a wing and a prayer as to how good they're going to be, how good they'll look on the paper, how wonderful they'll look when they're dry, how much of a metallic sheen is going to be on there. You know Kiritaki are right there. They're at the top of their tree. £12.79, 21. Here we go. You're coming in for them now. £12.79, you get six colours in total. They are of the most gorgeous quality. You can see how big the actual slice of paint is. That's going to last you a long, long time. But you can see the sheen, the metallic sheen that comes off this. Kiritaki paints, water brush, 18 left. No delivery charge, remember, if you're a Freedom Club member. If you're not logged in, log in now. You can call us, but you run the risk of being in a queue. All of these people on the bottom of the screen are in. Pat and Penzance, Kay in Nottingham, Linda in Cottingham. Uh, it's Cottingham, yeah. Uh, Lorraine in Sevenoaks, Patricia in Preston. You're all in. There are 13 spaces. 13 of these pallets remain. If you're quick, log in, craftpricedrop.com, in your basket, check out. That's taking the quantity down by one. Whoever's checking out right now is going to take it from 12 to 11. Thank you, whoever that was. That was Fiona from Birmingham. They're on their way, Fiona. Kiritaki Paints, just over £12. Amazing opportunity. And no PMP to pay for Freedom Club members. Ten left. Almost into single-figure stock. This is our star buy. Alison? From Oatley, you aren't a Freedom member, you'll be paying postage of £4.95 unless you put Freedom membership in your order. That will cost you £6.97 and you won't then have to pay the PMP of £4.95 and you get free postage, of course, for the whole month of membership from this day on. £12.73 though, seven left. £12.73 pence and going lower to £12.69 for quality Kiritaki water-based pigments. And the water brush is in your order as well. Five left at 12.69. Is that going to be our final price? Five chances to get these now. You can order more than one if you want to, if it's gifts for other people. Christine, you've just taken it to four. Thank you for that. All of these people on the bottom of the screen are in on this auction. Last three at £12.69. If you're there trying to log onto your computer, they go, oh, I'm going to miss out, I'm going to miss out. 
That's why we always say get in as early as you can to make sure when you know you want something, put it in your basket straight away, just sit there and watch that price, or even price, plummet. Uh, two left. One left at 12.69. Our star buy for this morning is about to sell out from Kirataki. Better than half price. Going once, it's gone. Sold out. Price lock. Happy painting. Brilliant. Everyone pays £12.69, and I think maybe one or two of you had to pay PMP, but I do try to advise you and let you know that, obviously, with Freedom Membership, PMP is not an issue. I, I, do, when you're online buying things, do you always look at postage? I very often, if I've got to pay postage, I don't buy things. If I look at it and I think, oh, I'd rather kind of shop around and try and find it with free PMP on another website. I don't like paying pay. It's one of those things we're conditioned not to really want to pay PMP. Someone has to pay it because someone has to pay for the delivery man to take it up the pathway and put it in your letterbox. But if you can get free PMP or postage paid, everyone likes that. Right now, let's move on to some stamps. Let's show you four sets of stamps. Sixty pounds twenty-eight pence. So basically, they are fifteen pounds and oh, about fifteen pounds seven p each. Some are 15.98, some are 16, and some are 12 pounds. Right, okay, so it's a mixture of, uh, of, of, of prices because they are slightly different sizes. Let me show you this one. This one looks great. This is right up my alley. Look at that. The vintage maps, the journey. What does that say in the front? Jo it's the journey, it, it is the journey that matters most. And where are they? Burlington, New Jersey. Ah, it's New York. Ah. Oh, right, okay, Massachusetts. So basically, it's American states that you've got on there. It's the journey that matters most. But look at the size of it. Look at that. Gorgeous quality rubber, backed with foam, onto your acrylic block. Love it. So maybe you, um, maybe you do your memory books and you uh, journal holidays and travels that you've done. That would be a great front cover, wouldn't it? Next. This also will make a fantastic front cover because you've got this oval aperture which you can stamp sentiments and verses in if you want to. That is the second one. They all come on organiser sheets as well as storage sheets because it's made from like a, a plastic, very, very shiny plastic. So that's where you store it and you can of course put it in a ring binder because you've actually got the holes already stamped into the storage. So that's a background stamp. Up the top here, the next ones we've got for you, this one here is, as you can see, beautiful, kind of Celtic inspiration on that one, I think. This is called, does it, it's called quint, Quilted Circles. Yeah, that makes sense. Again, this is also backed by foam as well. But rubber, you know, this is brilliant for your mixed media projects when you've got your texture pastes and all that sort of thing. When you're using maybe products that you want to heat up, like your UT, anything like that, you wouldn't use polymer stamps because they'd melt. But rubber stamps can withstand up to 200 degrees, so no problem there at all. Um, and I know our Leone, for example, she's a one for not necessarily using the whole rectangle. She's always doing this just to get texture on something. So you can actually use it as a handheld stamp as well as one that you can put on a platform or a block. And then the last one up here is... This has got, um, basically, it's got, got like perfume um, messages and words. It's called Fragrant Garden, so it's like uh, fragrances that you expect to find in the garden. Eau de Cologne, uh, Fougier de Cos, Elegance, Paris. Uh, lovely script in the background and all that foliage as well. Really lovely. Look at the detail in that. Lots going on in there. So, £60.28 pence should be the price for all four of those stamp sheets. Let's show you how we got to that price. Let's show you what they actually are if you buy them individually. So Quilted Circles, 15.98. The Journey, 16.06. The Fragrant Garden, 12 pounds 26. And the Stitched Frame, 15 pounds and 98 pence. Okay, so add that all together. Your combined total is 60 pounds and 28 pence. You aren't gonna be paying anywhere near that. I can guarantee you of that. What we're gonna do, we are going to plummet that price, our first plummet on this item from £60.28. Let's take the cost of the journey off the price. £44.22, we're giving you the journey one for nothing. You're buying the other three, the journey is on its way and you're not being charged for it at all. Let's take it down again. Let's, let's, do, let's do another plummet. Itchy finger time. Okay. Now, the next price plummet is going to take off the cost of the fragrant garden. So you're not paying for the fragrant garden, and you're not paying for the journey. So those two, uh, that one and that one, are free. You're only paying for them too. Thirty-one ninety-six. That just kind of—I um, was going to say rubber stamps it. You know what I mean.
that kind of confirms it. 3180, nearly half price on these stamps. They're big quality rubber stamps. They're made by Just Right. Uh, Amy Tedder Designs is behind this. Made in the USA, proudly made in the USA. Available here right now on craftpricedrop.com. Every day or most days at 11 o'clock, we do an online version of Craft Price Drop, and that's what you're watching at the moment. And then every day we do it at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. every day on TV on Hachanda. 25.98, better than half price. You've got 35 pounds off the price. We've got three left. You've got to be very quick if you want these now. You could easily be beaten to it, and I hate it when we get to zero. Leone, Fiona, sorry. Fiona's just taking it to two. Thank you, Fiona. You're in. You're paying 25.91 now at the moment. Do you want all four of those wonderful rectangular stamps? Two remaining at 25.91. Is it going to go down any more? Yes. 25.84 is what you pay now. Not 25.91. 25.84. One left. Are you paying postage? I hope not. Put freedom membership in your order. You won't pay PMP. Just the 6.97 for membership, and then no PMP for a month. Gone. Price lock. Congratulations. All of you have got those fantastic stamps from Just Right. Now, we brought you fabric. We brought you um, those amazing paints from Kiritaki. Now what we're bringing you, lace. Look at this. A whole, well, this is almost like, um, it's like a fabric bolt. This is 25 meters. How do you pronounce that? How do you pronounce that? Jaipu? Jip Jipu? I don't know. Jaipur, is it? Jaipur is in India, isn't it? So I don't think it's spelled like that. I think it's with a J. So I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Maybe you can tell us. How do you how do you get pronunciation across on an email? <laughs> you say it like this. Forty-two pounds for twenty-five meters of lace. It is gorgeous stuff. It's like a fabric bolt, but it's just lace after lace after lace. The pattern on it is gorgeous as well. Now, not only can you use lace as it is intended, but also, of course, you can actually use it as like a stencil. I know lots of people that ink through uh, lace as well, because obviously it's going to give you that fantastic pattern. The ink will, um, will be repelled by the lace, so it'll give you that fantastic printed pattern. So use it in that way as well. But yeah, what are you going to be trimming with this? Have you been looking for a really good quality lace of a certain thickness, because lace very often is a lot thinner than this. If you want to trim it to make it thinner, you can do. You can actually kind of maybe trim it down this centre here and have that little piece as a separate piece of lace, and then the bigger bit, the scallop bit, as a separate piece too. So it's a whole bolt full of 25 metres. This is working out to £1.68 a metre for lace of this quality. If you went into a department store, a haberdasher's, what would you pay for quality lace like that by the metre? I don't know, I've never done it. I'll be honest, I've never done it. But it would be an awful lot more than pound sixty-eight pence a metre. And where do you get lace these days? What department stores are still in business that have lace departments or, or, or fabric departments? Not that many around, I would have thought. £42, we're taking it down to twenty-four seventy-eight. You will not need lace for a very, very long time. £24.78 saves you £20-odd pounds off the price, about £18 pounds off. So what is it you're going to be putting the lace onto? What are you working on? Have you got maybe a baby's blanket or a christening blanket that you're working on that you're thinking, that's perfect for what I need? Or maybe, you know, you're in production, maybe you actually make uh, garments and you make fabric items that you sell, possibly at the stalls and the, the affairs that are coming up in uh, November and December then maybe this lace is what you need to trim possibly a tablecloth or something like that. $24.79 for 25 metres of lace. Buy in bulk, save the money. Gorgeous quality, lovely patterns. You can, if you want to, colour it. You can colour lace with uh, an alcohol-based pen, for example. 82p a metre now. 82p a metre. £20.48 for the big bundle that is this lace bolt. I don't know whether I'm saying the right thing, calling it a lace bolt, but I mean fabric bolts are like this, aren't they? So, yeah. We've only got now seven left. So we've only got seven chances to get this 25 metre bolt of lace. And that pattern, remember, is the same right the way through. Patterns do not vary. This is the pattern that you'll be getting. A lovely, quite subtle scallop edge to the bottom of the lace there. The fabric above it has got beautiful flowers. And then, of course, that very, very fine less, uh, lace mesh. 
It's lovely, isn't it? What are you going to be putting it onto? What will you be stitching it to? How will you be using 25 metres of lace like this? £20.45. Three left. You're saving £22 nearly, about £21.50 off the price. Three left. £20.39. Two left. To get 25 metres, that's less than a pound a metre. It's coming in about 78p or something like that per metre. It is a great price, a great opportunity. We've only got about 10 or 15 minutes left on the show. Lots of you coming in on this. Every day we do it on craftpricedrop.com at 11 o'clock. 11s is 81p, is it? 81p a metre it is with one of those big lace bolts left at £20.39. It's going once. It's going twice. Who's going to get the last one? Sold! Gone! Congratulations, one and all. Price locked. There it is, locked and confirmed. No one pays a penny more than £20.39 plus your P and P. Okie dokie. Right, now, hat pins or hair pins is what these are. But they, to a crafter, are so much more than that. You can use them in so many, so many different ways. Let me just put them together so you can see all these lovely colours that you're getting here. They're gorgeous quality as well. Each of them has got a, a faceted crystal on the end, and each of them have got, of course, the two legs. Now, you can use them in your hair if you want to, or you can use them um, in your crafting, your everyday crafting. So you get various different colours. You've got greens, pinks, purples, reds, the colours may vary, but you are going to get different ones. And you've got a total of 100 pins. 100 pins, each one having that crystal on the end, all firmly stuck into that little cup holder at the end of the pin there. Now, obviously, in, um, in, as I said before, in hair, on fabric, they look great. But just kind of popping them and using glue and popping them onto cards uh, can make an awful lot of difference. It can add colour, it can add sparkle, it can add dimension. When you're adding a three-dimensional object onto the front of a card, you can normally increase the cost of it and the, 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 the price you sell the card for as well. It's also great for your mixed media projects as well. Maybe you've got some canvases that you're putting um, some faux flowers on. Maybe you've got some craft buddy faux flowers. Then pins like this behind them into your gel glue would look lovely. But again, you can use them in all sorts of ways. You're a crafter. You've got the imagination. You've got the inspiration. We've got the products. Thirty-four ninety-five should be the price for all of them. Well, this is craft price drop. So let's do what we're good at. Let's get that price crashing down. Arrows flashing. Price is crashing. How low can we go on this one? Here it comes. Just under thirty quid. Five pounds off the price for what well, we're calling them uh, pins. Whether they're hat pins, hair pins, fabric pins for jackets, that sort of thing. You've got blue, you've got green, you've got red, a hundred in total. You've got like a salmon pink as well. A great opportunity to save even more. Let's get the arrows flashing again, meaning we're crashing again. How low are we going this time? Five are off last time. Let's make it 15 off. That's more like it. Under 20 pounds. 19 pounds, 78 pence gets you all 100. That works out to less than 20 pence per pin. 19p, 19.8p or 0.7p per pin. And look at the quality of the sparkle you get from those crystals as well. They're not milky or murky, they're lively, they're full of flashes and full of sparkle. Less than 10 minutes on the show. How many more auctions have we got? This one, one more or two more? One more maybe. Depends on you. Depends on how quickly you take it to zero, how quickly we sell out of the stock. Less than 20 quid for 100 pins, under 20p a pin, £19.38. pence. What are you going to be doing with them? Let us know on the email. Get in contact. Tell us, oh, I'm going to use them for this, that, the other. Whether you're doing flower arrangements, they look great with flowers. They look great in mixed media projects, canvases on the walls with your all your pastes and your textures. Why not add a splash of colour and a splash of sparkle? Another plummet. Here we go. We were under 20 quid. How low are we going now? Under 15. £14.50. You are taking £20 off the price. Who said? Lyndon said they'd look good on sellotape shoes. I don't know what sellotape shoe is. Is that sellotape on a shoe? It might be a typo, that. Uh, possible, possibly. Let us know, Lyndon. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, you could decorate shoes with them. Yeah, 
You could do. I mean, obviously, these pins are of a certain length. Nothing's stopping you chopping those pins off or making them shorter. Or you can actually kind of um, bend them as well, twist them together. But at the end of the day, it's a beautiful little crystal on the end. Well, not so little, actually, quite a big crystal, which is going to give you that sparkle and that shot of colour as well. Maybe you want to make them into brooches. Yeah. Stick them together. Twist them together. Let me just show you some of those other colours. Look at that for a red. That's a real rich garnet red, isn't it? Garnet, January's birthstone. Like a sapphire, September's birthstone. These aren't sapphires, obviously, otherwise they'd be hundreds. That's like a beautiful emerald green. That could be a pink tourmaline, couldn't it? Beautiful. A hundred pins. A hundred crystals, a hundred pins. Three remaining, only £14.50, so it's basically 14 and a half pence per pin at the moment. Yes, you can wear them. Yes, you can use them in your mixed media projects. Yes, you can put them on your cards. You can use them in all sorts of ways. Only two left at £14.50. One, le uh, one left now, one remaining. Who's going to get the last one? Saving you over £20 of what the combined price should be. They've gone. Price lock. Confirmed. Price is locked. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, we've got six minutes left on the show, and there'll be another craft price drop tonight, remember, at 7 o'clock with Matt. And we've actually got... Um, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you, it's karaoke. What's that got to do with craft price drop? I, it's not craft. It's a hobby, and that's what we're the home of. Crafts, hobbies and arts. There we are. That's Chris, our director, on the left, look. There's Mr. Matt, he's taking lead vocals in the middle. There's Molly, there's Liam in front of Matt, he's our producer. Uh, Lottie has got the microphone. Uh, Jimmy's behind her, Jack, and then we've got Janice. That's the family that we're in yesterday. Great fun, have a little play with that. Yeah, and if you, all the karaoke favourites are on that offer with the microphone tonight in the 7 o'clock show. So if you want karaoke for Christmas in your home with that granny and granddad singing along to Dancing Queen or whatever it might be, have a bit of fun with it. It's going to be on tonight, OK? Just give you a heads up on that one. Uh, now, Linda replied to our um, question. It wasn't a typo error. Oh. You colour, cover the shoe with sellotape, then take the shoe out. Oh, then decorate the shoe base. Oh! Oh, I see. I've never seen those before. I've never heard of those before. So put a shoe as a template, put sticky tape or sellotape or whatever, any other tape will do around it, it, decorate it, and then you can put those on. Ah! So you end up with like a tape shoe. Brilliant. Give that a go. How many people are going to be giving that a go now? I might go and do that with my, my, my trainer. Yeah, I might go and do that with my, my trainers after I come off air. All right, OK. Now, last, is this the last auction? We think so, but it all depends on you, how quickly this sells out. We might get one more in, we might not. If I keep quiet, we can carry on. OK, so we've got our collection of Spellbinders dies, four sets of dies. You get 44 majestic, 35 decorative accents. Spellbinders do call their dies rather unusual names, like 44 and 35. They can number them as well as actually name them. But you've got matting and layering dies to start with in the middle here. These are great. Really cool. Different shapes to normal. You've got your matting and layering, uh, or again, it's going to cut out brilliant frames if you don't want to mat and layer with them. And you've got the kind of rounded corner to the square. We've only got five of these, so this might be a pretty quick auction, actually. And it could be a big drop as well. We're going to get a price going down any second. Here we go. 84.55. That is the start. We are going to get that price down. We've already got people coming in for this. Let's get that price lower. 84.55. Here comes a big plummet, I feel. I can feel it in my water. Yeah, look at that. I had a feeling. £55 nearly off the price. £54 off the price. £30, 55 not 84 anything. Down to three, you're coming in for these now. We may even get one more in, Who's, who, who knows? But we've got here the matting and layering ones in the centre. You've then got this, look at this one, for a decorative die. Let me show you. We've only got one board, actually, and that's for that die at the end there. So that's what the dies consist of in that one. That's what it can do for you. How beautiful is that? That's Majestic Labels 1. But you can use any element of that, or indeed do the whole thing, as we've done there on that board. And this one here, this is the biggest of all of them. Look at how ornate that is. I love that shape. Very kind of Art Nouveau, don't you think? 
These are flying. We've got one left at £30.55. I hope you get the last one. Who's going to get the last one? Should be £84.55. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I hope you get it. £30.55 for the whole lot. It's now just gone. Price lock. OK, now, you know I said to you earlier on that if sometimes uh, when we close an auction and move on, if someone's card doesn't go through, sometimes items can bounce back into stock. That is what's happened with our star buy. We have a few, and I mean only a few. Normally on Craft Price Drop, we would not give you a second chance, but because we've got a little bit of time, that sold out earlier than we thought, we can bring a few of these back. A few of you, your card didn't go through or you changed your mind or whatever. So we have a few of our star buys. We're going straight down to the price that we ended at, so everyone will pay the final low price, but we've got our Kurataki water-based pigments with the water brush. Remember, where did this price go to? I can't remember where it went to, actually. This is the price it went to, £12.69. We can let you have them right now if you're quick for £12.69. Put it in your basket and check out. We've only got eight remaining. That's all we have. Eight bounce back, so we can bring them to you in the last dwindling minutes of the show. There you've got that wonderful metallic pigment in the Kurataki paints. And Kurataki, when it comes to colour, there is no match with Kurataki. Japanese technology in their pens, here they've got wonderful quality in their paints. So you know, when you buy paint, if you've ever been disappointed with the quality or, or, or the result you get from a certain paint because it was unbranded, well here you know you're investing in some of the best colours on the market from Kurataki. And you've got that water-based metallic hue in gem pink, gem red, yellow gold, gem green, gem blue and gem violet. Plus you get, remember, don't forget, you get your water brush as well included with this. We've got four left, four chances. You thought you'd had your chance to get hold of these. We've been able to bring just a few of them back that bounce back into stock. You're not paying the 26.64, you're paying just 12.69. And it does, if it is gonna be a, a wrapped up gift for someone, it does come in Kuritaki packaging as well. You can see all those wonderful colors through the front of the box. So that's how it actually comes presented. And you get your water brush as well. Last one. £12.69, it is gone. Congratulations, one and all. Price lock. Don't forget, if you want to laugh and you want a bit of a sing-song with Matt, he will have a karaoke offering for you tonight at 7pm on Hachanda, uh, of course, on TV and, of course, on the website as well, hachanda.com. Uh, yes, and he's got a good voice, Matt. Tell him I told you that. He has. Uh, so he'll be here at 7 o'clock tonight, and we'll do this again tomorrow, of course, at uh, 11 o'clock online, craftpricedrop.com, 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. on the TV, and 11 o'clock in the morning online. Have a great afternoon and morning. I'll see you back on the telly in about an hour.